Welcome to the Political Classroom. In this video we will be exploring Aristotle's political theory. Aristotle was a philosopher and political theorist who lived in ancient Greece from 384-322 BCE. He was a student of Plato and a teacher of Alexander the Great, and his works had a significant impact on Western philosophy and political theory. Aristotle believed that the state is a natural and necessary institution that arises from the very nature of human beings. According to him, the state is not created by a contract or agreement among individuals, but is an organic entity that develops gradually over time. Aristotle saw the family and household as the basic building blocks of society. He believed that the family is the first and most important institution of society, and that it is the foundation on which the state is built. The household is the basic economic unit of society, and it is through the household that people satisfy their basic needs and desires. Aristotle saw the family and household as the means by which people learn to live together and to cooperate with one another, and he believed that these institutions provide the necessary groundwork for the development of more complex social and political structures. Now let's explore Aristotle's classification of states based on the number of rulers and their interests. Aristotle believed that the form of government a society adopts determines its destiny. He classified states based on the number of rulers and their interests, dividing them into two categories, pure forms and perverted forms. Aristotle identified three pure forms of government, monarchy, aristocracy, and polity. Monarchy is a form of government where power is held by a single individual, typically a king or queen. Aristotle believed that monarchy was the best form of government, as long as the ruler was wise and virtuous. Aristocracy is a form of government where power is held by a small group of individuals who are distinguished by their wealth, status, or education. According to Aristotle, aristocracy was the second best form of government, as long as the rulers acted in the interests of the common good rather than their own. Polity is a form of government where power is held by the citizens as a whole. Aristotle believed that polity was the best form of government in situations where the population was relatively small, and the citizens were virtuous and engaged in the political process. Aristotle also identified three perverted forms of government. Tyranny is a form of government where power is held by a single individual who uses it for their own benefit, rather than the common good. Oligarchy is a form of government where power is held by a small group of individuals who use it for their own benefit, rather than the common good. Democracy is a form of government where power is held by the citizens as a whole, but it is often corrupted by demagogues who appeal to the emotions and prejudices of the people rather than their reason and virtue. Aristotle believed that the best form of government depended on the circumstances of the society, and that any form of government could become corrupt if its rulers acted in their own self-interest rather than the common good. Aristotle believed that the primary function of the state was to promote the common good and individual flourishing. The state was responsible for ensuring that citizens had the necessary conditions for living a good life, such as security, education, and access to basic needs like food and shelter. Moreover, Aristotle believed that the state was responsible for providing justice and preserving the rule of law. He argued that justice was the foundation of any well-ordered society, and it was the state's duty to ensure that its citizens were treated fairly and equitably. The state's laws and regulations should be just and impartial, applying equally to all citizens regardless of their social status or political power. Aristotle also believed that the state should play a role in regulating the economy to ensure that wealth was distributed fairly among citizens. He saw the accumulation of wealth as potentially harmful to the common good, and believed that the state should limit the power of the wealthy to prevent them from dominating the political and economic landscape. In summary, Aristotle viewed the state as an institution that had a fundamental responsibility to promote the common good and individual flourishing, while also ensuring justice, rule of law and equitable distribution of wealth among its citizens. Aristotle viewed revolution as a natural consequence of injustice and the failure of the ruling class to address the needs of the people. He believed that revolutions often resulted in the destruction of the state and the establishment of new forms of government. According to Aristotle, the cause of revolution was usually the violation of justice, either by the rulers or by those seeking power. The consequences of revolution, in turn, were often violent and destabilizing, leading to the breakdown of law and order and the emergence of new rulers. Despite this pessimistic view, Aristotle believed that a virtuous revolution could be possible if it was driven by a desire to restore justice and establish a more equitable society. He also emphasized the importance of political stability in preventing revolutions and maintaining the rule of law. Aristotle believed that the virtue of the citizens is the key to a stable and flourishing state. He defined virtue as a habit or disposition to act in a way that leads to human flourishing. 
For Aristotle, the ultimate goal of the state is to promote the flourishing of its citizens, and this requires the cultivation of virtues in individuals. According to Aristotle, the state has a crucial role to play in the education and cultivation of its citizens. He believed that the state should provide education that is designed to promote the development of virtues such as courage, wisdom, and justice. This education would teach citizens how to act in accordance with reason and how to develop habits of character that would promote the common good. Aristotle also emphasized the importance of practical wisdom in politics. He believed that leaders should possess practical wisdom, which is the ability to make good judgments about what actions are required in specific situations. Leaders who possess practical wisdom are able to balance the interests of various groups and make decisions that promote the common good. Furthermore, Aristotle argued that knowledge and expertise are necessary for effective political leadership. He believed that the best leaders are those who have a deep understanding of the nature of politics and the various interests and forces that shape political life. For Aristotle, the state should be led by those who possess the necessary knowledge and expertise to govern effectively. According to Aristotle, the state has a crucial role to play in the education and cultivation of its citizens. He believed that the state should provide education that is designed to promote the development of virtues such as courage, wisdom, and justice. This education would teach citizens how to act in accordance with reason and how to develop habits of character that would promote the common good. Aristotle also emphasized the importance of practical wisdom in politics. He believed that leaders should possess practical wisdom, which is the ability to make good judgments about what actions are required in specific situations. Leaders who possess practical wisdom are able to balance the interests of various groups and make decisions that promote the common good. Furthermore, Aristotle argued that knowledge and expertise are necessary for effective political leadership. He believed that the best leaders are those who have a deep understanding of the nature of politics and the various interests and forces that shape political life. For Aristotle, the state should be led by those who possess the necessary knowledge and expertise to govern effectively. Aristotle's political thought covers not only the state, but also the relationship between the state and the individual, as well as the role of different social groups in politics. In terms of the relationship between the state and the individual, Aristotle believed that the state exists for the sake of the individual and the common good. However, he also recognized that the state and the individual have their own interests that may sometimes conflict. Aristotle believed that it is the responsibility of the state to balance these interests and ensure that the common good is prioritized. Aristotle also placed a significant emphasis on the middle class in politics. He believed that a healthy state requires a strong middle class, as they are more likely to have a balanced view of politics and be invested in the well-being of the state as a whole. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Additionally, Aristotle recognized that the middle class is a stabilizing force in society and can help prevent revolutions and other forms of political upheaval. In terms of the role of women in society and politics, Aristotle's views were more limiting. He believed that women were inferior to men in both intelligence and physical ability, and as such, their role in society should be limited to the domestic sphere. Aristotle believed that women were not suited for political life, as their lack of reason made them incapable of making sound political decisions. While this view may seem outdated and sexist by modern standards, it is important to recognize that Aristotle's views were a product of his time and cultural context. In conclusion, Aristotle's political thought has had a significant impact on political theory, philosophy, and governance throughout history. His ideas on the nature of the state, forms of government, functions of the state, theory of revolution, virtue and knowledge, and other relevant thoughts remain relevant today. Many of his concepts, such as the importance of promoting the common good, the rule of law, and the cultivation of virtue in citizens, are still applicable to contemporary politics and society. Thus, it is imperative that we continue to study and reflect upon Aristotle's ideas as we seek to develop just and effective systems of governance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.